first thing I'll just go over all the parts you'll need for this build. Here we have the, it's called the base wall. You'll need this piece, which is the center core. This is the base top. Here is the mid half. This piece here is the pitch magnet mount. This is the sensor mount. This, yeah, this is the front row block. Back row block, this just sits on the other side of this one, which is the front row block. Here is the pitch cam. It's got the uh, two MF105 uh, flanged bearing on either side. You just push fit these in. This is the same for the uh, roll cam. You just do the same thing. This is the dual stage trigger. Let's see if we can get it to work. You can hear that. The grip. Uh, I've printed mine in two pieces just to get a bit of a nicer print quality finish because otherwise you need lots of supports to hold that front section up but um, I have two versions of this bottom piece this is the one without the uh, hand support maybe you have like bigger hands or you just don't really feel you need that support um, this is the one you'd use but here I've got the other one which is also another option if you want that uh, hand support. USB-C uh, wall mount or panel mount cable. The spacing of these holes is 17 millimeters. I've just got a 50 pack of these uh, uh, M3 by 8 millimeter uh, screws, and you'll need a lot of these springs, tension springs for the cams. This is an M4 by 20 millimeter bolt. This is for the the roll cam springs. You'll need two of these. These are M4 by 12 millimeter uh, bolts for the pitch springs. Uh, pitch cam springs. You'll need four of these ones. I also forgot to talk about this bit. This is the trigger mount. Here is just a couple of uh, M4 uh, nuts that will hold the springs for the roll axis. You'll need two of these, which is a M5 by 35 millimeter. A bolt. This is just for the the cams. There's one I talked about it earlier, but that just goes in there. Here is a 10 millimeter bearing with a three millimeter inner diameter. Two of those and one I've already screwed in here goes on for onto the center core here. So I'll just go over where you'll need the heat set inserts. This is, you'll need four on the bottom here and four on the top. Here you'll need four. This is just your mid half to screw to, to each other. And then you'll need two under this for this. You just need two on the top or back row block. And you'll just need two on, two on the top as well. And this goes on the other side. You'll need one heat set insert underneath it goes uh, underneath this bearing here in the center core and then you'll need four at the top here.
M3 by 8mm. It's great. Uh, grab that. Just swap this tip out. This bit. I mean, grab your 10mm bearing. Just goes through like that. Um, I think I might just flip this around. Just grab this. Oops. Don't want to drop it. Just go through like that. Grab it here. And with this, I think I forgot to mention, but another heat set insert on this uh, mid half here. And you just screw in your bearing. It's good. And now we can, we will get, we'll just put that to the side for a second. We'll grab our top half. Uh, a, a base top, I think that's what it's called in the files, but um, we'll grab that, we will grab our front roll block with bearing already in there, cam screwed in. Um, you know, actually, let's grab this, let's put the spring, uh, springs in first. So. Grab your M4 by 20 millimeter bolt, go through the spring, and on this side, um, you just thread it through like this. Grab our other one, go here, thread it through the spring first, and then just go through the cam. Like that. Okay. Now you grab your other spring, just slide it over, stretch it out, slide it over on this one. Um, actually, I might flip this spring around like this. Yep. And now here, grab your two uh, nuts. And we can just thread these on. It's a little bit tricky, this one. Good enough. Okay. Let's put that there for a second. Alright, now, now we can grab this bit. Well, it's got stiff. Anyway, got this bit. Grab our base top with the uh, thicker side, which is the front. And we'll grab this, this side with the, the, the magnets uh, visible and the bearing on the inside. This is the front, front to front, and we'll just screw it in like that. So if I can do this like that. Yeah. It's good. Now we will need, um, also again, ideally you'd want to grab your sensor mount, glue the uh, whole sensor on there and then stick it on here first maybe. But we'll just grab this, we'll go through that hole and with that, uh, uh, this bit here, we will just stick that into the bearing. Just like that, and maybe you might wanna, might have to just push your cam down to get it in there properly. So that's like that. Then you'll grab your roll block back with the bearing in it, just slide it over. Hopefully mine will work. Just like that. 
and screw that in. Great. Now that is the the gimbal portion complete. Now what you can do is grab your wall. I've already uh, screwed in the uh, panel mount USB-C. Just hide that in there for a second, but just grab that. That side is the front, uh, obviously. And with the thicker side, which is the front, you just sit it on like that. And screw it in. Great. Now that is the gimbal. Just hide that USB in there. And that's pretty much all good to go. Now let's focus on the grip. We will, first of all, let me grab a few more, six more to be exact. One, two, three, four, five, six. Once you've glued this on, uh, you'll need your trigger mount and your trigger here. You want to just uh, slot that in there. You just go like that, push it in, and make sure you've uh, got this all lined up here. And now we can just grab this. I might actually just pre-thread this actually. Oh, that's actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Close one. Two. Now what you do, you just go in here. This side is the top. You just push it over. Push it over like that and screw it in. Mm -hmm. oh, surprisingly that actually works pretty well I might just I might make a new version of this that extends down to the uh, down a little bit more so at this stage you would want to get you would want to wire all your switches like these ones as well you'll wire these with the correct length to reach Inside of the uh, gimbal, you just slide these in, uh, glue them if you need. Same with these ones, and you just feed them through the bottom out there. And also, I forgot to mention this one earlier. This is the input uh, panel plate, that's what it's called in the files. You just also wire these ones, push these in, the buttons. Here we have our five-way navigational switch, the hat switches. Uh, you just need two of these. And here's your hats. You just push these on and slide them in here. You'll need to glue these in as well, depending on which version, which version of this uh, file you got. And then you just, you'll glue these in like that you would want to, these buttons are a little loose for me. Then you grab that. You can choose to, I mean, I'd probably recommend it. Just glue that in once you've wired it all up. Same with this. You'll have your chain of wires that will have enough length to reach inside of the gimbal. And then you'll feed them through here. You might want to grab and like a bit of string and go through there 
tie it around the wires and pull it through. Might be a little easier for you. And then when, once you've done that, you just grab this and you just push it on top. If I can get the, that. Yep, there we go. Once you do that, then you screw it in. So I'm just gonna take that out for a second because it's a bit loose. But we'll just do that. <coughs> Great. And then there you go. Hopefully your buttons are not falling out. And if I can just push this up a bit. Oh. And there you go. That's the final flight stick. Here's a different uh, grip piece with the hand support. Let's put that to the side for a second, but yeah, it looks nice. I'm happy with it. It's a lot better than this one, in my opinion, which is a prototype. This one's ugly. This one is a lot cooler looking. It's a lot nicer. Bigger buttons, dual stage trigger. To be honest, this spring is actually not that bad and it actually works. I'm not sure how it will hold up over time just yet, but uh, you're free to experiment with that. The spring inside that trigger uh, for the trigger switch is just a 20 millimeter long by nine millimeter diameter. And the one I've gotten there has a wire thickness of one millimeter. But yeah, that's, um, the flat stick, it's a lot more compact, uh, a bit uh, more, I don't know what to say, like, just looks nicer. <laughs> so, um, thanks for watching. I hope uh, if you choose to pick up one of these, uh, the design file, uh, this video will help you assemble it. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye.